COVID-19 continues to rise here in the Wabash Valley. Our local health care facilities are feeling the strain. Now, one vital part of the COVID-19 recovery process is being stalled. This is due to the high number of cases in long-term health care facilities. Many hospitalized COVID-19 patients need to go to these places for rehabilitation, but many of them are already filled with COVID-19 patients. News 10's Caitlin Hunt is live in the studio tonight with more. Long-term health care facilities have become an important part of COVID-19 recovery, but local health officials say these places are seeing multiple outbreaks. Vigo County Health Commissioner Dr. Darren Brucken says what's happening inside long-term health care facilities is a reflection of the county's current COVID-19 status. Right now, they're pretty much mirroring what's going on in the community. We're having an extremely high number of cases reported every day. We're seeing a lot of breakthrough cases at the long-term care facilities in both residents and staff members. Brecken also says these outbreaks seem to be ongoing. Several local facilities have seen large outbreaks. According to data from the Indiana Health Department, Meadows Manor East reports 41 infected patients and 37 infected staff. At Cobblestone Crossings Health Campus, 69 infected residents and 73 infected staff. And Westminster Health and Rehab reports 89 resident cases and 73 staff cases at their center. But Brecken says blame should not be placed on these facilities. There have been challenges when it comes to testing. He says the switch from antigen to PCR has delayed many employees from getting their test results. That facility becomes inoculated fairly quickly. And then congregate care setting, people are stuck there. Um, so it's not too unusual to, to inoculate the entire facility that way. While it's easy to infect, these outbreaks have paused hospitals from sending more COVID-19 patients for recovery. People come through COVID, they're hospitalized, they're ill for quite a while, particularly if you're uh, of advanced age, you know, they get debilitated, they get run down and deconditioned tremendously and they need to rehab before they can return back home. While COVID continues to rage on both inside and outside these facilities, Brecken says there is still hope the spread can be slowed. He asks everyone who enters these facilities to take precautions against the COVID-19 virus. To be very understanding of what's going on right now. You know, we do not want to repeat of what we had Previously, when we had uh, multiple just thousands of deaths in the long term care facilities from outbreaks. I also spoke with Westminster Village. They tell me they continue to follow all, all CDC and Indiana health guidelines to protect residents and staff. Back to you.